Hello and welcome to a new wing it. We're going to be winging it very, very differently um, than I usually ever do. We're going to be winging it, doing games on this uh, computer system called the Play-Doh. Now, this isn't exactly a Play-Doh, as you can probably tell this is a Mac. Um, but the concept is, this computer system was from the 60s and 70s. In the 60s, it was mostly just used by the government. Um, then in the 70s, they came out with Model 4, which is what this is right here on the screen, and it was now available to the public, and this thing was crazy. It had a plasma display that was a touch screen that also could have like a projector inside that shone on the back of the screen, and then it would put computer graphics over top of the projection, you know, things that we didn't really get again until much later. It's crazy what this thing can do, but basically, this was the first gaming computer. Um, eventually, in the 80s, they came out with some home models. Um, one was made by Magnavox, um, called the Maggie, and they also ported the software to things like the Atari 8-bit line, on the TI-99, stuff like that, but it didn't catch on as well that way. Um, since then, a new service called Cyber One which I will show you their website right here. Basically, they recreated this thing in their own way and basically brought it back to life. Um, they're actually saying that here's the museum with the with a working Model 4 Play-Doh, and it actually connects to their service. So if you have one of these units, it still works. Crazy enough, I know. Um, now, they were $12,000 when they came out in the 60s and 70s, so finding one of these now, you'd, it'd be crazy expensive if you can find one at all. Um, back in the day, there was only about nine games, what I can tell. But since then, there's now about 101 on their service. I don't know if anybody else has a Play-Doh service. But according to their service, they have 101 games. So this is it. I know it's off-center. It's going to be kind of funny. Um, because it's emulating the same software from the 70s, it doesn't, it doesn't work with a widescreen. In fact, it wasn't even... You know, a full screen. It wasn't four by three. It was taller than it was wide. So, and to get it to work at all is a miracle. Let's do this. So now the key commands. I don't fully know all of them. I know next is enter, and we might have to jump back to the website just to see what's what. So there are 33 people using this right now. So you have to sign in. You have to request a sign in. So I already did. And uh, let's get into this. All right, and then you put in your group, which they also give you. Survivor is mine. While holding down the shift key, press the key labeled stop. And for keyboards that don't have a stop key, I can push F10. Luckily, it says that. So shift F10. Now I can put in a password. We're just going to make up one. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. I didn't realize that it was something I had set. Anyway, we're in here. So they recommend you open up kind of like their directory called Big Jump. Let's take a big jump into this. So here's the games. Oh, wow, they have um, increased in 124. It's been a long time since I've been on here. So, you know, I've missed what they've had. Uh, let's see, how do we scroll? So I really couldn't find a way to scroll. i got to figure out how to do this. Oh, plus and minus. Okay. So, let's, uh, so any of these games that have like a little zero with a slash, or what they considered an asterisk, um, is people are playing those games right now. Um, there's a lot of games on here. There's even like baseball. I, I'm interested to see what you can do with the baseball on here. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. I think you just type in the number. Baseball. Okay. Here we are. Let's see what we can do. Let's start a new game. I will be, let's just do American League. Um, sure. 
I'm just going to push A. I'm not 100% sure what it's all doing here. I Okay, I'm going to pick. I don't really follow the Red Sox, but I'll do the Red Sox. Um, choose your own lineup. Not available yet. Uh, choose the Red Sox line. Okay, B for Red Sox lineup. Pulling back the old tarp. Crowd is pulling it. Okay, so this is what the first gaming computer games looked like. This is crazy. So, I don't know if I'm actually going to be the one batting or if I'm just running a simulation. I'm betting on simulation. So, I'm going to push C for continue. It hits to the... Okay, so it's running a simulation more than anything. And you just keep pressing C to continue. I mean, this is interesting. Okay, I w somebody got walked. Um, somebody hit something the last time. Uh, oh, somebody got injured. I think that's what it said. Let's try one more time. I struck out. Okay. Um. Let's see. How do we quit this? I think we have to push stop. Shift stop. Okay. Let's, let's pick something different. Big jump. Let's go back into here. Let's see what else we got on here. Let's let's go to a different page. Oops. Plus to advance it. I'm pushing plus. Oh, there we go. Crypt. Um, there's the asterisk. Not the zero with the line through it. I guess it is the the actual asterisk. Condense that just side, I think. See, I'm, I'm running off of stuff that they were telling me from forever ago on videos that I watched. So let's let's try a different game. Um, let's try Crypt. It has the asterisk. Let's see what happens. Oops. I pushed a button. There's three people playing this. Kill the monsters, grab the booty, <laughs> and find your way out of the crypt. Let's see. Uh, next, next is enter. So let's do that. What is thy name? My name is Jetrex. <laughs> we don't need a password. Descending into the crypt. Oh boy, this is one of the first RPG games ever. So I can... Uh, see, I have a flail. I have a bow and arrow. Let, let's move along here. Let's see if I can figure out how to move. Let alone... Okay, so the arrow keys do work. So look at this. This is the f one of the world's first. Oh, something's blocking my way. I'm being followed. Well, I, now I'm stuck in this room. I'm going to have to fight. Attacked by a, a wild dog. It says killed. I don't know if it... I Did I die? No, I didn't. Okay, uh, I, I killed both of the wild dogs. We are using the flail, are we not? We are, I think. There's an A. Aardvark. Killed the Aardvark. Okay. <laughs> we killed that one too. I, th I think it, where it says hits, I think that's my hit points. It's not too much in here. Let's go down. It's another wild dog. Okay, we killed that. <laughs> Whatever that was, it must have been an illusion. This is a staircase, I think. I think. I can't seem to get it to do anything. All right, so we can't figure out what's going on. I'm going to try asteroids because I feel like that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I hope. Nothing so far has been straightforward. Let's see how this goes. So it's kind of kind of slow moving. Classic mode does not process vector graphics very quickly. It is strongly recommend you connect under the other mode to enjoy this game. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 
Oh, they were right about this thing being kind of slow. But this is, in fact, asteroids. This is like if you were going to be playing this on, like, a Vectrex. Alright, so this one's unusable. Let's go back. So there's some sort of racing game on here. Let's give that one a shot. And then we'll call it quits for the day. We might come back to this at some point. So we're doing a racing. We're not doing a race track. So, oh. Horse race, drag strip, 100 yard dash, pop a wheelie. Let's try just a regular old... Um, drag race here. That's warming up the engines. How many players? Just me today. Players' names. Um, Ludwig. Good enough. Code? I don't know. Red. Uh, I guess that's like a password. Let's see. Salt Flats. Random Odds. Firestone's Computed Odds. Indie. Even Odds. Sure. Where's my guy? My guy's not even on the track? <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not racing. I guess I'm just betting. So this is like a betting game. Makes sense. Let's bet all of our money all at once. And we're going to put it on the guy. Let's see. Um, Andretti, wasn't he good? No? <laughs> he wasn't good. Maybe maybe I don't. Maybe I just put it in the number. I'm going to put it. Okay, driver four. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this race goes. I won. <laughs> Ooh, if it was only this easy, I, I won $500. Hey, we're going to leave it on the fact that I won $500. I'm going to have to send them an email and say, hey, where's my money? But other than that, this is the Play-Doh system. I hope you enjoyed a look at the first gaming computer network ever made. Just kind of to see what, what it was all about back in the early 70s. And 80s for those who could afford one of these things, which was not many. So I'll see you next time.